Imagine a snake so big it could swallow a cow whole, a creature longer than a school bus thicker than a man's waist. For centuries, whispers of such a beast have echoed through the Amazon rainforest. Locals call it the Yakumama, the mother of water. Most outsiders dismiss these tales as folklore, the stuff of campfire stories. But legends, I've learned, often have a seed of truth. And deep in the jungle, that seed had grown into something truly monstrous. We were about to come face to face with a living, breathing nightmare. A titan that would shatter everything we thought we knew about the limits of nature. It was a mission that pushed us to the edge. The Amazon is the last great frontier on Earth. The Amazon rainforest is not a park. It's a living, breathing entity that can kill you in a hundred different ways. The moment our small boat pushed off from the last, dusty outpost of civilization, the world changed. The air became thick, heavy with the smell of damp earth and decay. It's a smell of life and death, constantly churning. Every sound is amplified. The shriek of a monkey, the buzz of a million insects, the rustle of unseen things in the leaves. You feel a constant sense of being watched, because you are. Piranhas, jaguars, venomous snakes, poison dart frogs. Tracking an animal that spends most of its life underwater is next to impossible. Anacondas are masters of camouflage and stealth. They don't leave footprints or broken branches in their wake, they are ghosts. Our strategy relied on a combination of modern technology and ancient local knowledge. We deployed sophisticated sonar equipment hoping to map the riverbed and detect any unusually large shapes lurking in the deep, murky channels. Drones were sent up above the canopy, their cameras scanning the riverbanks for any sign of the beast sunning itself, a rare but possible behavior for such a large, cold-blooded animal. They didn't just look, they read the environment. When the monkeys fell silent, days turned into weeks. The initial excitement began to fade, replaced by a grueling routine of hope and disappointment. To truly understand our quest, you have to understand the legend of the Yakumama. For the indigenous tribes of the Amazon, this isn't just a story, it's a core part of their cosmology. The Yakumama, or Mother of Water, is a primordial spirit, a creator, and a destroyer. They believe it's an ancient being that carves out the riverbeds and controls the rains. To disrespect it is to invite disaster, floods, famine, and death. To them, our search was a dangerous and foolish act, like children poking a sleeping god with a stick. By mapping these oral histories, we began to see a pattern. Deep pools, sharp river, bends hidden lagoons. They called these places sacred forbidden zones. The sightings were concentrated in a remote, almost inaccessible tributary. This was its lair, the place we had to go. The tribes gave us a warning, we took their warning seriously. We were entering territory that was not just physically dangerous but spiritually charged. We were trespassers in a sacred realm. It happened on a quiet overcast afternoon. The air was still, heavy, the jungle unusually silent. We were navigating the narrow tributary the elders had warned us about. The water here was black, still, like polished glass, reflecting the dense green canopy above. Our sonar had been acting erratically, showing impossibly deep readings. The water, he whispered. It is moving wrong. Then I noticed a slow, almost imperceptible current flowing upstream against the natural flow of the river. At first I didn't see it, then I noticed. Every instinct screamed we were close. On the monitor we saw it, a disturbance about a hundred yards away, a bulge, the water displaced from below by something enormous, like a submarine surfacing in slow motion. The bulge grew larger, wider, and then began heading toward us. Silence, broken by frantic camera clicks and the low hum of the drone, then a head broke the surface, bigger than a horse's head, two dark emotionless eyes like polished obsidian fixed on our boat. The head shone with dark green and black scales, each the size of a human fist. It rose slowly, water cascading from powerful jaws, a living dinosaur, a creature from another time. We were in its world now, completely at its mercy. It watched. Power radiated from the creature, it made no sound. It just watched. The visible body was impossibly thick, a wall of muscle and scale. Then, as silently as it appeared, it submerged. The water swirled with a powerful vortex where its body had been, and then the river was still again. We had come looking for a legend, and we had found a god. After the initial shock, our scientific minds kicked back in. We had to document this. We had to get measurements. The head alone was nearly five feet wide. 
thickness estimated at least 40 inches in diameter, the anaconda measured approximately 80 feet in length, 80 feet, that's more than 24 meters. The largest anaconda ever reliably recorded was around 28 feet. This creature was nearly three times that size, estimated weight several tons, longest and by far the heaviest. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Our footage, sonar logs and eyewitness testimony would be scrutinized. The initial reaction was disbelief. We were called charlatans and hoaxers. But the high-definition drone footage, the sonar readings, and the reports from a respected team began to sway opinions. A snake of this size defies biological limits. Growth, metabolism, gravity, and food availability all become questions. It would likely prey on very large animals, perhaps even adult cattle from nearby ranches. The deep unexplored tributary must be an anaconda paradise. Deep pools, abundant prey, minimal human disturbance. Its life must be almost entirely aquatic, buoyed by water, which explains why it remained hidden for so long. We have always known the mother of water is real. This changes everything. The location is being kept secret to protect the creature and its habitat. A proposal is underway to declare the tributary a protected biological reserve. Using non-invasive technology like satellite tags and underwater drones, scientists hope to learn more about its behavior, diet, and range. This discovery is a wake-up call. Protect the wild. The Amazon is a living library of wonders and we must act now. If you want more deep-dive expeditions like this, subscribe and hit the bell. Credits and sources appear on screen.